if you're an absolute beginner at using Safari on the iPad, this short video will show you how to actually type in a website's address or open a bookmark and select a page and actually get yourself going. So at the moment there is one tab open here and it's apple.com is the website and there is one web page that's the tab now to open up a new page i'm going to uh, tap the plus which is over here which will add a new tab and if i know the name of the website i can type it in from the address bar and you notice that the cursor is already flashing up here it's waiting for me to type something in the keyboard has come up and i can hide the keyboard with this key here down here and um, tap on here that will get me back to the apple site if i want to go to a new one tap on the untitled as soon as i tap in that address bar the uh, keyboard will come up and i need to type an address in now the address that i'm going to type in is the one that we use for the, the class it's the class website which has all of the resources and downloads and videos and in the, the current climate you don't need to type in www and then your uh, colon forward slash forward slash you don't need to do that anymore so when you know the name of a website so the website that uh, we're going to put in is called technology.com and it's simply a matter of typing in that website and as you type you'll see other suggestions are coming up here because I go to this page a lot it's already in the uh, cache so it knows about it you, yours might not do that and if I wanted to I could just tap that one because that's the website I want and it would open it for me so if I tap that instead of having to finish typing it it will put it in for me but I'm going to type it the long way so I'm going to close that tab by Tapping that cross. Uh, open a new tab with the plus. Tap in the address bar and type the whole website in. Technology fueled. And I could type the uh, full stop and the com, but there already is a dot com um, sign there. And if I hold that down, there are other types of websites so if it's an au1.com.au for example you could tap dot tap the dot com let's just jump back dot com and if i had to put an au on it i could uh, hold that down and slide my finger up to the au uh, in this case all the website is is technologyfueled.com that is the name of the website that i want to open uh, once i've typed it in i hit the go and that will load the page and you can scroll up and down the page and and do what you want with it now if you wanted to open a page from a bookmark then uh, where you don't have to type it if you open your bookmarks folder and the bookmarks are down here on the left here I'm in the currently in the reading list you can see this these three icons here reading list your history and the bookmarks so if i tap on bookmarks i'm currently in the bookmarks bar uh, i could tap this button to go back to bookmarks and some of the bookmark folders and there's a another video on bookmarks that you can look at which is on the same page as this one uh, we're going to go into the bookmarks bar and if i wanted to open another page i wanted to open um well, let's look at lynda.com I can tap that and it's going to open that in exactly the same tab so you can see that it's actually replaced technology field the Nets life website it's replaced that and it's replaced it with lynda.com the bookmark if I didn't want to do that if I wanted to have a, a um, website open in a new tab then I need to tap the plus before I then go to the bookmark and tap the bookmark and, and it will load so it's now got two versions of it so the way to get the website in is 
one, you either type it in yourself, two, you get it from a bookmark, an existing bookmark, or three, you might search for one. So if you search for a website, you're not quite sure what the exact address of it is. And this is the address up here. This bit up here is the address of the website, also known as the URL, the Universal Resource Locator. Uh, it puts the WWs in for you. It puts the HTTPs. You don't have to do it. All you have to type in is this bit here, the lynda.com, and nor, nor the, the forward slash. It puts it in for you. Uh, if you wanted to reload that page, it wasn't loading or something had gone wrong with it, that is this button here. That will reload. Tapping that will reload the existing page. Uh, but let's look at search. If I wanted to add a, a page I'm looking for, I can tap in the search and it will bring up some of my previous searches. I've just got a new dog so you can see what I've been looking for, uh, particularly that top one. Uh, so any of your previous searches will come up there, so you could you could go back and um, tap it again, and, and it will open up Google for you, where you can then select the website that you want to look at. So if I wanted to look at this one, I could then tap on that, it will open that page. So searching, you're searching for a general uh, topic, a subject, not specifically a website, um, and then it will take you to the Google search results. If you know the website, you don't need to go here. So I don't need to go up into to search and type in technology fueled com and search for it because it'll take me to the search page, the Google search results where I tap it. Now it's, that's about three steps more than I need to do because I could just go straight up here and to delete what's already there on the page there's a little cross here if i tap that it will delete that anything that's currently there and i can type in another one uh, i've got just got to get my typing right and i'll take that one there it's quicker if you know the website it's quicker to type it in yourself than go and search for it because you've got to type it in the search bar then it takes you to the Google results and then you have to tap it to get the page open. Alright, that's all for this video.